Hi, this is Bruno from RVing TV and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 Zinger 328 SB. The 328 is a double slide 32 foot overall bunk model unit with two entries. Let's take a look at some of the outside features that we have. Now for 2020 the Camp Easy package is standard. What that will now include is a power tongue jack as well as power stabilizers. So you'll see here, here are our front stabilizers with a push of a button, they're easy to set up and our rear stabilizers will be the same. What I like about the Zingers is when you look here at their storage compartment you'll notice it's nice and large, really well finished and well lit. Now zingers are also known for sitting on a heavy frame so when we look down below the trailer you'll notice the nice large I-beam and what that does is it supports the trailer better and gives you better longevity. Now for, uh, for 2020 they have carried over the secure stance step and the final item with the Camp Easy package of course is our large power awning with the long LED light strip that you see here. Now you'll notice that there are outside speakers on a Bluetooth soundbar. We do have gas electric water heater so that you're not always burning your propane. Really nice black rims and then we do have an outside kitchen. So on that kitchen you'll get burners here that pull out allow you to access them, a little easier to do with two hands rather than one and it is connected to your propane system. You do have a sink here that is plumbed into your holding tanks as well as a space to place a TV in the TV hookups. Large fridge and then you have some storage here as well. On the outside we also have the backup camera prep exterior shower and there's a black tank flush on board as well. But let's take a look inside at some of the features of this Zinger. Now the 328 is going to weigh in at a dry weight of just over 7,800 pounds and will have a load capacity of almost 1,900. So as I've mentioned in some other videos, I like to look at that load capacity because that can really vary on trailers and when you have almost 1900 pounds of load because you're going to put a lot of gear for a number of people to travel in this trailer you're not going to worry that you're pushing the suspension and the axles to their maximum capabilities. You're going to have really nice flexibility on these zingers. Now when we look around you'll notice a nice large double sink without the divide so the days of putting cookie sheets and big pans in there and splashing water everywhere are gone. It's recessed down below. We have a residential style faucet. Really good prep space and our range is recessed to the counter height giving you even more prep space. And I like the little attention to details. You'll notice the backsplash area here. Uh, glass inserts on the cabinetry door. Now for 2020 the cabinetry and the coloring you're going to notice for for the cabinets is completely new. They've gone over to a light gray finish which really makes it very elegant. Our linoleum floor as well is very beautiful and just matches nicely in color. Now this trailer has been optioned in with the gas electric fridge standard on the trailers for this year is a 12 volt fridge. Now the 328 really caters to that family uh, where maybe you've got young kids bringing extra uh, nieces, nephews along, cousins and or adults and you're having several friends up. It really transitions well because you have the large U-shaped dinette and you can see here on the table they're not using the traditional two pegs that makes it really hard to get in and out. They have a very st a sturdy stable uh, table support but you can get in and out easily. Plus there's doors to get underneath the dinette so you're not pulling it apart for storage. We have a nice sofa 
with your cup holders in the center, large windows, and again, the attention to detail when you see that nice trim work and the valances up top that just finish it overall. Cloth blinds to keep the sun out and as well at night to give you privacy. And here on the wall, we have our USB plug-in and those will be located in various areas. There's a nice pantry here. So you have really good storage. And then for our bunk room, you notice the doorway is right here, but our washroom is actually outside of the bunk room. So if you have young kids, you don't have to worry in the middle of the night, you're getting up to go use the washroom and you're interrupting and waking them up. Now we have a second slide in the bunk area. You'll notice a sofa that converts over for a sleeper. And then underneath here, we do actually have another mattress that will pull out for a trundle bed. Up top, we have a nice wide bunk. And with many of the competitors of the Zinger, what you'll notice is the bunk is a single bunk where this is really about one and a half. That's something that I really liked in this slide out. It comes right out to the edge of the slide and you'll notice how deep the slide is. Also, the materials I've noticed are really nice. The bunk mattresses are thicker than what we're seeing out there in the industry and the bunk supports up to 300 pounds. These are nice things to see in a trailer. We have another bunk going crossways and then again, a one and a half wide bunk up top that supports 300 pounds, plus some storage and the ability to put another TV back here. As we make our way forward, let's take a look at the washroom. And this has been a really well-designed washroom. When you walk in, you have a nice corner residential shower with skylight above, medicine cabinet, your sink, porcelain toilet, and then your entry and exit from the outside. So if you are having guests up on the weekend, they need to use the washroom. They're able to come in from the outside directly to the washroom rather than tracing through the entire unit. Also great for kids, because if they come in through the main entrance, what happens normally? They're grabbing an iPad, a computer, something else, and you want them outside enjoying. Now some other standard features you're gonna notice here on the zingers. The fireplace is standard and that will actually throw out heat. There's a sound bar and it is prepped for the TV, but I do like how they've actually finished the back there. Just really gives it some character. Also, you'll notice down below the fireplace, we have some storage space. Great little spot to tuck your shoes in and get them away from the front of the door. As we make our way into the bedroom, they're using a residential queen bed. So your sheets at home will fit this perfectly. It's a foam mattress. There is some storage under the bed. And then we do have wardrobes on both sides with a shelf up top. And again, look at the nice finishing just to give it that really comfortable feeling. As I spin around, you'll notice that there are solid pocket doors and there's also a USB and 110 plug-in on one side of the bed and a 110 plug-in on the other. Again, the fabric shades, so you have windows on both sides of the bed to get cross ventilation. So very well thought out. And if you did want a second TV, there's our prep in the bedroom that you can actually put a second TV in this unit. As we spin around, you'll notice the floor heat is fully ducted. Something interesting that we've seen in the industry, we've seen a couple of units with direct vent furnaces, which means you close off your pocket doors in your living area as being vent is heated, but the other areas aren't. So you definitely want to look for the ducted heating as well as full ducted air conditioning. The LED backlights are just a nice little feature, so let's actually do this. We'll close a couple of lights. What I also liked about the Zinger, when you come in, you'll notice your command center is right here, so you have your slide out buttons, you have your awning, your tank gauges, your water pump, your gas electric water heater here, and then you have a variety of light switches, which are going to include your uh, outside lights, 
then our LED lights and one light, if you notice, one light turns off our main living area, which is really great. And then you have a couple of accent lights. I've left the one over the dinette to give you an idea. There's also a couple of lights over the sofa. But we do have backlit LEDs above the slide. And as we come around and take a look at the kitchen, we have them around the kitchen. And of course, the one on the range are independently operated. So you can have them on and off at any time without the other LED backlit areas. So if you're in the market for a couple's unit, this 328 Zinger is a great unit to look at. Really gives you lots of living space, very easily towable by today's half ton units, but also works really well to park in a campground and have it there as a seasonal site and use as your mobile cottage giving you maximum flexibility. Well, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for viewing our video. For more information on this unit, you can visit Bella Vista's website at www.bellavistarv.com and just search under the travel trailers. It will pull up crossroads and you can take a look at all the zingers that are available. If you like this video, please click the like button and feel free to, sub to subscribe and we'll bring you more videos on great units that are available as we do for future reviews. Well, this is Bruno from RVing TV saying I wish you a very prosperous life.